Hello again, everybody. <laughs> Pull you just a tad bit closer. The kitty cat moved my camera. Okay, so last haul of the day um, is a combined haul of Dollar Tree, Dollar General, and Tuesday morning. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to start off with Dollar Tree. And I'm sorry I haven't taken things out of the bags like I usually do. It's just been a long day. I'm trying to get all this recorded. <laughs> So, the first book that I picked up is by Suzanne Summers, and it's called From Toxic to Not Sick, and it talks about the toxins in our bodies and how we can get rid of them and all that kind of good stuff, and uh, it is, um, she's put this book together with doctors in a question and answer form and that type of thing, and so I'm looking forward to reading it. Uh, and as most of you know, our little community, well, maybe not most of you, you don't watch the news probably like I don't, but our little community has made the news with the Gen X situation being released into the Cape Fear River. <laughs> so, yeah, Wilmington's getting put on a map for more stuff. And then I found this one, and it's called Living in Style, Inspiration and Advice for Everyday Glamour by Rachel Zoe. And she is the best-selling, New York Times best-selling author of Style A to Zoe. <laughs> and um, this book originally sold for $28. Let me see if I can do like Karen does and do a flip through. Let me turn you down just a little bit. There we go. Let's see. And it's some pictures and... Yeah, mainly got it for the pictures um, and the scenery in it because it's just gorgeous. So, pick that one up. That's the only books I got. Uh, found these and picked these up for hubby. Well, for me and him to put together. This is, uh, you know, because the Despicable Me 3 is coming out and this is from that. So, that puzzle and this puzzle. They had several more, but I just picked up these two, you know, because I just picked up these two. So, got those. And they're really cute. I thought we'd have fun putting them together. Then I found this for, to hold my glasses when I'm not actually using them. <laughs> and then I, um, I'm telling you, I'm watching all these people haul all this stuff from beauty benefits and all that kind of stuff at the Dollar Trees and nothing. But I did find... Which I'm not sure if I'd buy any of it. I don't know. But you know, but I'm not finding anything. But I did see these two colors of Wet and Wild. And Wet and Wild Shadows are pretty good. And I like these two colors. This one, um, they're like a satiny. They're not glittery or anything. They're just kind of satiny. And this one, this is a iconic favorite. And it's Crune Brulee. And I was glad to find it in a single because it's just a good color. And this one is in, oh dear, Cheeky. <laughs> yeah. And it is um, um, an eyeshadow. But it's in Cheeky. And this one has just a tiny little bit of sparkle in it. I don't know if y'all can see that. But anyway, so I was glad to find those two things. Uh, found these over in the kids section. So I picked up two of them. They had them in the in the two in a larger or larger size, two in a pack, but I didn't need the larger ones, so I just wanted the smaller ones. Um so it's little four storage containers. Uh 2.1 inches in diameter. So so I picked up two of those. And they make a lot of noise, sorry. Oh, y'all crooked now. Okay, and I do want to point out, most of y'all are missing Ellie over here. She has been moved into the living room with us um, because she is very social. So, no, I have not gotten rid of her. She is still with us. And uh, she's, of course, is in hiding, but still here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, stickers. Did pick up a couple of more stickers. Uh, oh, got two of these. Okay. And, yeah, that's not. I picked up two more of these because I just think they're precious. 
yeah. And even though SAT, you know, it's okay. I like the cups up here, you know. And this one does say coffee. <laughs> and then I picked up another one of these. I just think these are beautiful. So, yeah, picked that one up and then picked up this one. Another one of these. Love the bicycle and the bench. And the boots. I love it all. I just love it all. And picked up this one. Gonna do some summer theme stuff. And then these gorgeous butterflies. This was the only pack they had, and I know I have not picked these up before, so I had to pick up some of those. Now, also new at my Dollar Tree is this. <coughs> Excuse me, I picked up two of them. Now, they hold three pictures, right? This is an 8x8 size frame. 8x8, right? Forget about the matting thing, the, you know, and all that stuff. I'm not going to use it for that. I am going to use them for mixed media pieces in this size frame. I just, so excited to see those. So I picked up two, the only two they had. <laughs> so, yeah. <sighs> if they have more, I will pick up more because those make great um, size projects and stuff. Uh, Dollar General. I only picked up a couple things. I'm just a sucker for these things all. They're so pretty. I hope he threw this in there. This one is in Bayside Breeze. Uh, boxes. This one says, Dream, Believe, Imagine, Create, Explore. And it's done in the lovely blue watercolors. And it just opens up like this, which I liked. And then this one says, Enjoy the Little Things. And it is done in the black with pink glitter polka dots. Just opens up like that. So pretty. And of course, this one's like it's got the glitter around the edges. Anyway, so I picked those up. And... Then I found these. Now, y'all know I've, I use a certain type that we get from the from Dollar General for my washi tape. Seen these and was really excited. So, I had to get a couple. And they are this. They look like this. The size is 13 and 3 eighths long by 10 and 3 quarters. 3 quarters. <laughs> 3 quarters inch wide and 2 and a half inches high. Now... You open them up. They're made by Sterlite, so we know they're good. And they have got this divided pocket or thing and tray in there. And then they've got these little trays on either side. Now, what I'm going to use these for is little ephemera pieces and stuff. And I picked up two of those. Um, I thought this would be really good to separate stuff that I use to put in pocket letters. Um, and Amy and I, my friend Amy, are going to sit down and start getting some pocket letters made. Um, pretty soon. <laughs> Y'all know my crazy life, right? So, okay, let's get on with the Tuesday morning part of this haul. Uh, I did, I'm going to try to take some of this stuff out so I can quit rattling the bag. Oh, sorry about that, y'all. I can't stand that, but I'm doing that to y'all. So, let's see what we can do about it. Okay, that's everything out of the bag. Okay, good. All right, the first thing, if you remember my last Tuesday morning haul, if I've got it up already, um, I bought some of these uh, acrylic soft gel paints for mixed media. So, I did find the one in the permanent green light. The Indian Yellow, the Lemon Yellow, and the Hooker's Green. So I did find those. So I was glad to get those. <coughs> uh, from, let me see. I want to separate this stuff from let's do it. everything from Jolie's Boutique. I'll make sure I got everything together. Okay, 
Jolie's Boutique. Um, found some Halloween stuff. Um, little stickers. Oh, I hope y'all can see that. These are little goblets. And they have snakes and trees and ghosts and grass, it looks like, growing on them. Anyway, so I got those. Then I got the black cats and the moon. Let's see, the moon has the... I'm assuming those are supposed to be bats, but to be honest with you, I don't know. But they look kind of like the Dementors from uh, Harry Potter. Then uh, these little mason jars. And these are clear. And they're puffy. So those are kind of cute. I wish I wish there was some way that you could like use them as um, shakers. Found these little fellas. Aren't they cute? Look at the little seal pup there. And the bear. And Oh, I just I thought it was cute, 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 cute. And then I found the seashells, the sparkly little seashells. So I got some of those. And then I picked up three of these because two of them are going out in friend mail. Um, these. Let's see if I can find. No, they're all, oh, this one's not covered up. Here we go. Is that not cool? Oh, this is by Jolie's Boutique Parcel. So, uh, yeah. These are really, really cute. So, I picked those up. Three of those for 99 cents. I don't think. Those were 99 cents. These were $1.49. And the rest of them were 99 cents. Yes. So I got those. And then from uh, Paper House, I picked up these. Picked up two of these. And these are the 3D. Of course, they've got the moon covered up, but y'all know it looks. It's got bats on it, too. So got the Haunted House there. Got two of those. And then these. The zombies. Yeah, got those. Then from Martha Stewart, I found these. These are beautiful butterflies. Oh, I just love those. And then I found the daisies. And y'all know I love daisies. Daisies are my favorite flower. And I found these and just love them. So I had to pick those up. Those were $1.99. The Martha Stewart ones were $1.99. The paper house were $1.49 each. Yes. So, yeah. <clears throat> and then I only found a couple of the Downton Abbey things. Uh, you know, I had picked up some last time. But I did find this and um, the premium double-sided tape permanent. This is the one half inch size. So I did pick up some of this because it's the first time I'd seen it. It was $1.99. And then for Downton Abbey, I picked up the pearls, uh, the white and cream colored pearls. Those are so pretty. I don't know what it is about these that are different from other ones, but these are gorgeous. So I did pick those up, and those were $1.99. Um, and then I seen these. I don't usually buy stuff like this, but I seen these, and I just had to have them. I gotta try, I'm going to try to make something with them, but these are the flowers. The uh, It contains 18 paper flowers, and they're, the very, you know, they're really small, but they are really pretty. And those were also $1.99. And then I found one of the Crafters Companion Downton Abbey embossing folder. And it is in the Thistle. Which, yeah. Almost like what we call milkweed. <laughs> so I did pick that up. Uh, and that is the completion of my hauls. Yes. Yes, that is the completion of my hauls. This was over two weeks, spaced out over two weeks, y'all. Not all in one day or so. Um, I do have friend mail to do next, um, but not tonight. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, but yes, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packages of friend mail to do. So I will probably split that up into videos. So.
love you guys. You're amazing. You're wonderful. And I'm just so happy to be back and talking to you. <sighs> yes. Um, I hope and pray that y'all have a wonderful and blessed day, night, evening, whenever you're watching this. Um, it is so good, like I said, to be back in, in front of the camera and, and be talking to you guys again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I've had a really busy schedule. I've had some bad days. I've had some good days. And on the good days, I've been kind of busy doing stuff that I needed to get done. <sighs> but I just had to get these videos filmed for you guys um, and get back to talking to you. Um, got lots of comments to answer, and I'm sorry. Y'all know how I'm about keeping up with my comments, and I apologize. <sighs> I'm so sorry. I will get to them. Um, yeah. I just, I get tired, and I cannot sit and concentrate, and I get overwhelmed, so I'm, I'm very sorry, but I'm going to try to get better about that, um, and not let it get so far ahead of me that I feel overwhelmed. Anyway, I'm going to go. Uh, Love you guys, um, and I will catch you in the next video. So, may you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Don't forget to love on each other and be kind, and I'll talk to you later. So, bye from North Carolina.